Mr. Speaker, I have an apology to make to the House. I promised last year we would endeavor to pass into law the Affirmative Action Bill. This did not happen. My commitment to the promotion of the advancement of women is without question. Women constitute the majority of the population, and our success or otherwise as a nation will be measured by how well women are doing. The bill would definitely come to Parliament this meeting. In the meantime, I've thrown my full weight behind the heave of she campaign and the Gender and Development Initiative for Africa, an initiative stemming from my position as the African Union's gender champion. I urge all Ghanaian males to join together in giving Ghanaian females the dignity they deserve, as tenaciously promoted by the Polyglot Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection, Otiko Afisa Jabba. I further in entreat all of us, male and female, to support the implementation of the 2030 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which have been incorporated into government's coordinated pro pro program of economic and social development politics, policies, which was laid before the House on 13th November 2017, and the execution of which will ensure that no Ghanaian is left behind. The Speaker, on 7th January, the Fourth Republic attained 25 years of age, its silver jubilee. It has proved to be the most enduring and most successful of the four republics of our history. Its constitution has enabled us to establish our state on sound democratic principles, on the basis of the separation of powers, the rule of law, and respect for human rights. It has witnessed three peaceful transitions through the ballot box from one democratically elected government of one party to another of another party. It has promoted our nation as a beacon of stability and a model of democratic engagement on the African continent. It was to celebrate this collective achievement of the Ghanaian people and the unity of the Ghanaian nation that I organized on that day an interfaith religious ceremony of thanksgiving to Almighty God. Graced by the presence of my three predecessors, their excellencies, the first, second, and fourth presidents of the Fourth Republic, Jerry John Rawlins, John Ajikum Kufo, and John Dramani Mahama. I thank them for their contribution to the service and thank all the eminent clergy of both the Christian and Islamic persuasions who conducted and participated in the solemn moving ceremony. Long may the Fourth Republic flourish. Mr. Speaker, our nation is on the right path. We will build a Ghana beyond aid. I thank you very much for your attention. May God bless us all, our parliament and our nation, Ghana, and make her great and strong.